Chapter 968. Odin is back to have sex with his wife. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Pod Cast. I am the best guy ever, and this is Gimmerick. Hey, guys, what's going on? Mm, a new chapter's going on of a little manga called Bleach. But also, here's One Piece, guys. Chapter 968, Owen's Return. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, uh, and for the record, everybody, you should know uh, that our boys, the Pod D Scans, have indeed released a new copy of the chapter. You can find it in the Pod D Discord, and we'll probably link it down below. Uh, but also, at the time of recording, uh, Viz has released a chapter. Uh, yeah, because, I, I don't know, it took a while. I know that the Pod D Scans boys had some issues getting the correct translation or getting translation stuff. And yeah. I'll just say for the record. For uh, the the potty scans got theirs out first, which is a great service to the world, and everybody is very happy about that, I'm sure. But I gotta say, there are the potty scans guys. They they showed like a list of corrections. There are multiple errors in their translation, and as everybody knows, the most important thing for me is accuracy of translations. So both of their strengths. There's some things I prefer yeah. in the potty scans one, um, but I think we'll refer to the viz for this. Are they going to make a new version of it? I have been told no. I have been told that they will not. See, all right. That's too bad. I, I, I too saw bad. the list, and it's quite a long list of, like, things that could ch possibly change the person's interpretation quite a bit. Quite a few. Well, there's, like, 15, yeah. And Not all of them are important, you know, but like uh, if other Like, if other translating websites, not translating, but, like, manga hosting yeah. websites, pick this up and put it mm -hmm. on, and they just leave out the correction part because they want to scrub the name yeah. off and put their name like they did it mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. nobody's gonna know that there's mistakes see you know it's a, it's an interesting question when you're a scan later because obviously it's unpaid work they do just for the love of it the is, craft yeah. because they they have an obligation or they feel that like someone has to do this job uh, I mean, we're in a weird situation because, like, one day later, the Viz one came out. And I, I know there were complications this time. They had, like, some things fall through and whatever. But um, so, like, it is better for posterity, though, for the long term. I mean, it's interesting. I'm going to talk about one thing that I thought better. There was, like, a translator's note that I thought was very educational that's in the Potty Scans one that is not in the, uh, the Viz Media official scan. So, like, none of these are, like, obviously, the ideal way to read it is to read in Japanese and have an understanding of, like, the complexities of the Japanese language. None of us can do that, so we're relying on these guys. So, again, I, I don't want to be ungrateful or anything, but, like, for posterity, I will, I, I'll want the one long, I read theirs first when it came out, but long term, I want to read the one that has the most accuracies and uh, since they're not correcting the version, uh, well, what, what I was saying was, like, they don't owe us anything, obviously, but it's, like, for the sake of, you know, the, the readership and the, I want everyone to be as accurate as possible, obviously. I mean, you're, you're, you're you being know. too nice right now because they are so? affiliated with us. If it was just some manga scanlating thing, then you'd be complaining mm -hmm. about the mistakes they made. You know, I don't think I would because I've, I've long been a big fan of scanlators and... Like, I, I've tried to work with them on a couple of occasions, and, uh, I mean, these guys are independent. They're not actually related to us. We don't work with them or anything. They just happen to be from our community. But, like, uh, it, it, I just, I have, a, like, these guys worked really hard. I could see how hard they worked on it to get it out for some gain. And to have to go fix things now, I, I mean, I understand. It's unpaid nah, bro. labor. I nah, bro, do, do better. Do better, I mean, be yes, better. I mean, they should do better. Be the pirate but king. They did the best they could. But, I mean, what can I say? The Viz one is more accurate right now, and that's the most important thing to me, accuracy of translation. So, what can I say? That's how it is. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm going to read their releases in the future as well. Hopefully, they of just course. get better. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's, a, it's uh, always a rocky say. start with, like, a whole new thing. But, you know. Of course. Of course. Uh, and the, the pros, by, I much prefer. Like, they've still got fucking, like, a dog storm going on in Viz. <laughs> so, obviously, like, Potty is all that stuff, like, way better in terms of, like, moment to moment reading and stuff, but, uh, hey, hey, you know, accuracy is important. Okay, all that out of the way, I'm sure, take your pick, people, read whatever you wish, uh, both are free, and, uh, let's get into chapter 968, Odin's Return, starting with our cover page, Gang Beige and the Family, blah, 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 Save the Wife, it's been 17 of these now, looks like Lola, no, Sh Chiffon has been snagged by the Marines and is running off, and Gotti here is chasing after him. There you go. That's what's happening. Yep. 
Not much. That's not still. much else to say. Please wrap up. I'm getting. I feel bored. like yeah. This I feel <laughs> like this is gonna be similar to uh, fucking what was his name? It was his name, Barrier Boy, um, Bartholomew. Oh, Bar- Bartolomeo. 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 Yeah. Where like it was a lot of nothing, and then suddenly right at the end there was a really at interesting the end, it became... twist. Like oh I, shit! Like I feel yeah. like the last image of this, the last one of these, is gonna be like, oh, it was all worth it. But right now, let's it's make just guesses. Like, stuff is happening. I don't know. Obviously, I expect during this thing they probably will meet Lola. Chiffon and Lola will be together, and like that'll happen. And then like the big thing that ties into the story that we actually give a shit about will be, uh, that Lola uh, is allied with Blackbeard she... or something. Oh yes, yeah. so, something like that or. Ka- no. Yeah, yeah, I mean, actually, Blackbeard connection would be my biggest guess, if, if anything. Maybe they'll capture... I mean, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters right now, so maybe yeah. Shanks again? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, anyway, we will see in the future. Let us proceed to the actual chapter. Yes, so... so uh, yeah, take it away. Roger became the Pirate King, and he came mm-hmm. back. Uh, Shanks... Apparently, I, it's not in, it told like what he asked. He asked a question, and he cried mm. immediately afterwards. I don't know whether he was just like, like crying because he didn't get to experience the really funny joke, mm-hmm. or or <laughs> crying because he well, didn't get the okay. joke and he thought it was like a like a sad story instead. Well, let's not forget, Shanks chose to stay behind willingly. So, like, if this was something that like he wanted to be there to see the thing, like he could have gone if he wanted to. So I don't think it's him, like, regret that he didn't get to go. I, I mean, to me, it seems very likely this is just, like, but something why, like why Roger's going to die. Like, and... maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's more of a personal thing. Maybe it's not about One Piece. Maybe it's, like... Sure, sure. It could be. Or it could be about... I mean, it could be about, I mean, the information that was learned. The information uh, you know, that was learned, like, the, something Shanks... Like, yeah. we don't know Shanks' backstory. Maybe that was a question no, he no, wanted don't. answered, like... I really want to know what West happened Blue, in the yeah. in the in the thing because of a mm-hmm, thing, mm-hmm. and and but, but you learned the, way, the thing, I, and this is the information. And I was like, oh shit! Just for interest, I won't do this for everything, but I'll point out uh, that like one of the translation issues that's that's like important to note here is the uh, the potty scans boys. They translated this as like Shanks asked a couple of questions. And then cried and, you know, blah, blah, blah. That happened. Whereas the accurate translation that Viz does have correct is that, like, he asked a question or he asked, like, one thing. So, like, uh, the difference there is, like, subtle. Maybe people think it wouldn't make a difference. But the fact that he asks one question and gets, like, one answer, to me, feels very different and implies a lot of different things. So that's why it matters. He he, he asked, was it based? And Roger said, yes. (laughs) <laughs> and then they all did the Fortnite dance. Uh, well, there you go. So uh, my guess is that this is something about, like, what they learned that has devastated Roger. I'll just throw it out there. I think it's going to be something about how, like, we'll see later in the chapter, Roger's like, I was too early. I'm not I'm not the destined one or something. I bet it's Shanks learning that, like, oh, no, Roger, he, he could have been the chosen one, but he was still just too early. And what a tragedy the, this end of his life will be. That, that's my guess. I don't actually know. Yeah. But uh, but one day, one day we'll see. So, um, um, so there you go. There you yeah, go. now that the world knows about all this stuff, kind of, mm-hmm. um, they started referring to everything that the everything that Roger gained as the One Piece, and the reaction Wealth, of fame the, and power. the Roger yeah. pirates is is like they're laughing. They have no idea. Oh my God, lol. Um, indeed, it, which indeed. implies a lot of things. I think the Poddy scans mm. uh, in, uh, elaborated on what. Like the Japanese would imp- oh, could well, yes. possibly imply about this, which was interesting. I wanted to discuss that because this this could be important, uh, kind of in a similar way as uh, as Raph Tell being revealed as Laugh Tale. So uh, okay, obviously I haven't seen the Japanese, but like from what they say in their translation in the um, in like the uh, translator notes on the Potty Scans one, and this is this is why they're this is the most important thing they did that like the official didn't do. It's like the way that the that one piece is written as, like, the, the grand treasure uh, that, that Roger has or something. Which, okay, like, it, it's a little bit weird. Okay, this is kind of strange. So it's like, the world gave Roger's collective treasure the name One Piece. Um, and, like, but they don't know, like, the world does not know what Roger found at, like, the end of the world. And obviously we know it's a little bit later that Roger says specifically, like, uh, like I, I, I left my treasure somewhere, go find it. And then the world assumed that he left his treasure, whatever it was, 
at like the final island that they know only he got to. So that's that's what spawned you know the golden age of piracy and all that stuff. But in terms of the name of One Piece, uh, so what it says the translators say that uh, the furigana used to indicate that the term is supposed to be read as One Piece. That's like the the like English uh, pronunciation kind of thing that you one, know, one piece. piece. One yeah, basically that. Um, but the hiragana, hiragana being like the normal letters used in Japanese, uh, it's a little complicated, but it doesn't matter. Um, they indicate the name One Piece has a true meaning, but it's left ambiguous by its spelling. This is probably due, I wish I could see the Japanese, but I would assume it's because like kanji in Japanese has multiple different uh, readings. They say hiragana though, which is just like normal letters, and hiragana... Like, it, they, there's a lot of automatopoeias in, in Japanese, or not, sorry, I meant synonyms, words that sound the same but have different meanings. So, and they say that based on this, like, ambiguity, it could either mean, quote, the great hidden treasure that connects people, or the great hidden treasure of one piece, peace being P-E-A-C-E, meaning, you know, lack of war, harmony, blah, 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 all those things. So... Is it possible that, like, at the end of One Piece, what we really obtain is one piece, as in the whole world is at peace in the end? And it, that's really... Yeah, I mean, you know, it's so obvious that I've never even thought of it. Like, peace yeah. and peace. Like, I, I always assumed mm. that it's a thing that has a real, you know, a meaning... Uh, it's a uh, one-piece it, bathing suit. That's, it's, you know... It's, it's one, is, uh, you know, like, a one, one piece, piece of, of treasure, as opposed mm, to mm. pieces of eight. Uh, the title is spelled right. in English as One Piece. So if it changed Indeed. to One Piece, Indeed. then it would be... By the way... It changed, I think. <laughs> quick shaming of Viz Media. Why the fuck do they have, like, the logo of One Piece written in English? Like, you know, One Piece, English letters. And then above it, they have just, like, in text, One Piece. Why is it One Piece above One Piece? It's already written in English. It did not need any further clarification. What the? F Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you see oh, this logo? On, the, on the front. Yeah, one piece. On the front page. Why the fuck do they do? I can read the words. Maybe they. Maybe they're worried that people will not realize that the Luffy there is uh, an eye. Is an eye. The logo is written a bit. It's got like an anchor and like an O that could be like a skull. I mean, I guess. Maybe it's uh, not it, an eye. Maybe Japanese. the whole time Luffy has been an A and he's been in the wrong position and it was. Oh one my piece god! The it's gonna be. Time. Bro, you thought that one piece, okay, it's actually, it's one, and then you see that P. What is a P but a D with a line under it? So just get rid of that line underneath, and Luffy's head could easily be seen as a dot. One D, ease, Eche. right? <laughs> Perfect. One, one we, D, we Eche. One D, Eche. That's, that's probably, that's probably yeah, what that's it is. Probably, uh, yeah, what I think that's, talking about? Uh, I'm going to call that right here. That's my that theory. Sounds, that sounds great. Uh, anyway, so, like, there's a lot of implications as to what this could mean for what One Piece is. Although, I, the one yeah. thing I'll say is, what doesn't make any sense is, okay, maybe the world calls it One Piece, and this is Odin writing in his journal, like, it, diegetically, this is Odin writing in his journal about his adventure with these guys, and, like, he's writing the word One Piece down, I guess, in Japanese, I, you know, because that's how Japanese manga works or whatever. Um, like, does the world know that, like, <laughs> One Piece is a mysterious word written in, like, the kanji that could mean either, the, the treasure that connects people, or peace. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's mm. there's word games going on here for what us, if, the audience. Right. It doesn't what make sense. What if it's not actually that, that complex? Know. What if actually what yeah. is just being implied here, that they're mm -hmm. laughing, is that mm -hmm. those guys think it's an actual treasure? It's a story, mm. guys. It's really funny. They have no idea mm, that it's a mm. story. They think it's a treasure. They think it's one piece of treasure. Um, I don't know, like, the, the, the name One Piece, why that was come up with, but I think it could yeah. just be as simple as they're laughing at the fact that people think you have mountains of gold and they're going to be coming after mm. you now. You know, I'll say this. this these, are, these are big issues about all of One Piece, but I'll say this. Since the beginning, I've talked about this many times, I've always been like, guys, don't forget, One Piece is about, like, personal treasure. It's, like, Luffy's straw hat was his treasure. This was the main plot point at the beginning of the series about how, like, Buggy loved gold, Luffy didn't give a shit. It was his hat, just a silly hat that was a keepsake from somebody who he cared about. Uh, before hockey, before crazy devil fruit unlocking awakenings, before any of this shit, 
the new world or paradise. It was just about a boy who had been given a hat and wanted to be free in adventure, and it was about personal treasure. If One Piece means anything, my guess is that it would be like, uh, again, this isn't something that like the people of the world would know, so in-universe it might not make total sense, because uh, uh, Roger did not give it that name. Like, the people gave it that name, it seems. Uh, it had nothing to do with it. Um, but, like, if it's it's one piece of treasure, even if it's not actual treasure, just, like, the one thing that somebody really valued above, like, all the gold or power or treasure or anything, it's, like, the one keepsake or the one thing that uh, somebody really cared about, specifically Roger. I mean, whether it is that or not, I don't know. But, like, maybe that's what it meant or maybe that's what it will be. It c could be a hint. could be a hint. Yeah. Um... Oh, just a, oh, just a little uh, aside. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I like uh, that uh, now that they know what the the D means. That uh, it's yeah. it's confirmed that the government is deliberately hiding Gold D Rogers' name. Yes, they know. They to, definitely to know. stop the D being so powerful. Although they don't do that for other pirates. Monkey D Luffy still has his wanted poster, has that, and everyone else is as well. You know that might be. Ret not not a retcon, but that might be like something that Oda didn't know at the time, and actually doesn't quite make sense. I mean, let, let me think. I mean, white. Well, I can imagine he name. came up with the name Gold Roger, yeah. and then came up with an idea yeah. later that it was actually an initial, and his name is Gold. We learn about the Goldie Roger thing, as I recall, in Drum Island at the end, Kureha, when Doctor yeah. Kureha reveal. Yeah, she's the one who reveals his his real name or whatever. Uh, you know, I'm willing to grant it. he probably knew, or it's it's very likely he he planned to do the whole Gold D Roger thing. Maybe not, maybe not. But yeah. uh, considering like Luffy was D from the start, I wouldn't um I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh, either way, I don't really. I mean, those were early days. It's uh, it's it's fine with me either way. I think it was yeah. probably like a hundred chapters in or something. So two years. Um, by the way, I have one. But you're right. That is an important thing to note. Uh, I have one other. Important correction to note. It's that, you know how we were said that uh, Roger's laugh was ooh-ah-ha-ha, -ha, like U-A-H-A-H-A-H-A? -A -A -A. Well, I'm looking here in the, in the Viz scans, and I can clearly see that it's written uh, with the, the wa Japanese hiragana character as he laughs, so it's actually wa-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. -ha -ha -ha. If they wanted to do ooh-ah, that would be the, they'd use like a U-A, but it's clearly the W-A character, so it's wa-ha-ha-ha. -ha -ha. Wow. So whoever did that wrong, you are incorrect, sir. It's wah ha ha. Um, okay, anyway. Very that's important. Very important indeed. Put that on the wiki, folks. All right, so anyway, uh, the, the Gold Roger Pirates, are, or the Roger Pirates, are indeed like, well, we got One Piece. Everybody loves us. Uh, we're the coolest guys in the world. I'm the fucking king of the pirates. Fuck you, everybody. Well, and so nobody now everybody's loves gunning him. Everyone, for them. Everyone just wants to steal his treasure and kill him. Yep, yep, yep. They, they think that Roger probably still, like, has the treasure, like, on him. It kind of seems to be implied. It's not totally clear. Well, um, there's that one guy here. I'm reading the Viz yeah. translation, by the way. And he says, steal this mm -hmm. treasure. They said Gold Roger's got everything in his hoard. Right, right. So wherever that I mean, hoard uh, is, they're going to go look it, for we it. Shouldn't, we shouldn't... Get, like, our understanding of One Piece has changed so much throughout the years as, like, we now know it to be... At least it's considered now, like, the treasure that Gold Roger left on the final island that only he got to, which consists of something we don't know. But, like, in these days, this is right when the legend was being formed. I'm guessing that, like they say, he, he had wealth, fame, and power. These are probably people who just think, like, oh, there's Roger's ship. If we sack it, we'll just get, like, everything he's got. And so we'll go do that, whatever that may be. So, um, I, I don't know. That's, that's how I read it. Um, in any case, here's Roger sitting down with his boys, and he, he's reflecting on the journey. And yeah. he says, looking back on it, it's, it's been a miracle that we were able to do all this despite the fact that I knew I had, like, a year left to live or whatever. So thanks, boys. I thank you all for all your help. And in, in classic lovey-dovey pirate crew fashion, they're all like, oh, you, shut the fuck up, Roger. You piece of shit, <laughs> scum-sucking cock boy. It's adorable. It's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> and then abruptly he says, all right, guys, uh, I'm here by disbanding the Roger Pirates. And everyone's like, what? And everyone's like, what? eh? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think I think they expected this. It's not like a surprise, but uh, it it's it's sad. It's sad. I think we'll get a scene like this at the end of One Piece with Luffy, one day. Yeah. Oh, um, it feels. And then we get a flashback complex. to earlier when Odin yes. and Roger were hearing voices in their heads, and we didn't know what the voices Indeed. were. Now this is what they are. It's it's the Sea Kings having mm -hmm. a little convo. I think. 
Definitely, definitely. And this we were flashing back to like when they could hear their voices, it seems. Uh, uh, I have a couple, so this is a very important section here, but I, I just have one question first. Literally, how do the Sea Kings know things like, the birthing is at hand, our sovereign will soon be born. How do they know that? Are they just prophecy fishes? I do mean, they have some insider knowledge? I What's think going if, on? if there's like, the Sea Kings have a strange connection to this god of Pos mm. Poseidon thing, yeah. which is like one of the ancient weapons, then I think mm -hmm. the sea is connected might be a thing. You know, maybe maybe it's the same thing. Like, Charley, like has some unexplained, 100% accurate prophecy power. That's like how our characters know all this shit right now. Maybe it's similar, or like, Charley is like a mermaid. She is related to the sea. Maybe it's kind of whatever is giving her this knowledge is also informing them. And maybe, I don't think we're supposed to be that worried about it. It's just like, somehow, like these ancient beings of the Sea Kings, they know, man, they know. And, and it's even possible that like these Sea Kings are, I think like we said last time, like hundreds of years old and actually were alive and or maybe have passed down among their people or whatever, like knowledge that like there was a prophecy way long ago that this would happen. I, I don't know, in, in either case, I'm not that worried about it. Just thought I would point it out as, as somewhat curious. Um, Maybe Shirley yeah. is like also mm -hmm. got the the she can hear the voices and she just listens to the Sea Kings and they tell her what's gonna happen. Hmm. I mean, they've been pretty specific about who yeah, can and can't hear them, but uh, just I mean, to get her information somewhere. Yeah, I, I mean, it wouldn't be that weird of a of a explanation because the, the Sea Kings they're just true. having a chat about like, oh yes, it's exactly ten years until the birth and then fifteen years till they pretty grow. Much, yeah. By the way, what do you think they're talking about, like? The two sovereigns. Uh, well, let, okay, let's get into think? that because this is this is kind of the most important part of this entire chapter, and it's a big fucking deal. I, I, I we might have known this already, but this further clarifies. So these two sea kings are swimming along, as you said. They say, uh, let, "Let's review." They say, "The per the birthing is at hand. Our sovereign will soon be born, and another in a distant sea." The whales are delighted in anticipation. That I think that's just like a laboon reference. Doesn't really matter. And then. Of the day, the two sovereigns shall meet again. We have been waiting for so long. It's almost here. They'll surely, uh, and surely all will go well this time. Just 10 until the birth, another 15 to grow, and that's about it. And, and th so this is what they say. And then Roger asks Shirley, and she clarifies, like, yes, the mermaid princess will be born in 10 years. And they, they think that's going to be, you know, Poseidon and the, the secret ancient weapon. Okay, so this section is, there's so much is going on here. So first of all, our sovereign will soon be born. It is almost guaranteed that they're specifically speaking about uh, sh uh, uh, Shirahoshi as the mermaid princess. I mean, she's a princess. Like, mm. obviously, she is Poseidon. We know this. She has the power to command sea kings. Clearly, yeah. she is one of these. It, I, I, I checked with some, some translator people. It's definitely two kings. This is very explicit. Two kings, two sovereigns being born or whatever. One got to be Shirahoshi, mermaid princess, and Poseidon. Now, as to who the other one is, that is a good question. I, I think we all kind of think it's pro I mean, it, well, they haven't been born this far, 15... so it's not Whitebeard, it's not Blackbeard. Um, yeah, well, how old is Shirahoshi? It, they would have to be the same age as Shirahoshi. Well, don't forget, this, well, okay, they say 10 years until the birth. They might only be referring to one of those at this particular time, which could be Shirahoshi. So, like, maybe Luffy is born in the same year. Even if he's not, I don't think that rules him out. Uh, or anything. Like, maybe they're talking about Ace. Probably not, because Ace fucking died um, and didn't do a heck of a lot. But maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, what are the sovereigns like? Uh, do you think it's like the sovereign of the land and the sea? If there's a human and a mermaid? Okay, there is much speculation to be done about this. And actually, there's, there's another important thing I wanted to include in this discussion. Fuck, where is it? Is it, is it here? Is it here? Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe it, maybe it's, it's this. I read back a little bit of last chapter. Uh, I read Viz's translation, and there was one very notable uh, piece of it, which was that Roger. I don't think it was translated this when we read the potty scans one. Roger says when he when he reads like whatever it is, or they see whatever they see at the final island or whatever, he says, "Oh joy boy, I wish I'd been born in your time." So I think when we read last time, it said, like, I wish I'd been, or I wish I'd gotten a chance to meet you, or I'd been born back then, which I think we sort of interpreted to mean, ah, Joy Boy, you existed long in the past. I wish you had existed now, or I was back then, so that we could meet. 
I think another very reasonable interpretation, not confirmed, but potential, is that what he's actually saying is, oh, I've just learned Joy Boy will be born a few years in the future. And when I meet Joy Boy, or like, I wish I had lived long enough to meet Joy Boy. That is also definitely a possible way to interpret this. Um, mm, did he say born like in past tense? Like, I wish I had been born in the future. Like, you wouldn't say it like that. What? He, okay, he didn't. Or, he just says, "I wish I'd been born in your time." That could mean forward or backward. That doesn't. That doesn't imply anything. Um, and shit, there's another section. I feel like I'm forgetting here. There was some other very important piece of Joy Boy discussion in this chapter. I think. Uh, shit. Okay, well, well, nonetheless, like, the point I'm trying to get at with all this stuff is that, like, something is going on here with Joy Boy seemingly... Oh, 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 okay, it's this thing about the day the two sovereigns shall meet. I think it was... Maybe it was fucking in the other... I'm sorry, I'm getting all confused about this, but I remember thinking that, like, it's implied heavily that, like, Joy Boy is coming in the future. The, the, the Seekings here are saying, it's almost time, all will go well this time. Okay, so we know that when Robin read the Poneglyph in, um, in like, the forest underneath um, the Mermaid Island or whatever, Fisherman Island, like, it was an apology letter from Joy Boy seemingly apologizing to the Fishman, like, populace for not being able to, like, use Adam, the giant wooden ark or whatever that they had, um, in order to bring, like, the Fishman up to the surface world or whatever. That seemed to be the general gist of it. So, like, everything mm. going on here seems to okay, be implied that, so like, so yeah. Joy Boy was mm -hmm. trying to do the big thing, and he failed, he to, and yeah. he made an yeah. apology. Like, it, it didn't work, guys. Right. Moonsama's still uh, in charge, and I didn't destroy the red line, like I promised. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, but in the future, mm -hmm. someone... I don't think it's literally going to be Joy Boy, but, like, a, a successor, some, like, person who is mm -hmm. essentially... Possible you know, the joy boy of the future. Yeah, yeah. And, and and Roger's saying there will be someone will be born and eventually surpass us. We, mm -hmm. the Roger Pirates, were too early. Mm -hmm. And the one piece they call it, I wonder who will find it. So what are they... There's so many things that to, to think about. Like, do, do they did they not find one piece? Uh, is that what they're implying this? I with mean, this? I, it's, it's hard to say exactly what this... What this is implying. Or is he just saying, like, I wonder who will be the person who will surpass us? Maybe that's just well, what Well, let's... Saying. He said, like, I mean, they say, uh, the one piece they call it, I wonder who will find it. It seems like Rayleigh says that. And then Roger replies, my son. My, my son will find it. Uh, and, you know, he's got to go make a son, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I guess that doesn't really clarify if they mean the treasure that they found. But it's got to be, like, the treasure they found. Rayleigh has said previously, like, we found all the secrets of the world. We know everything. Like, maybe you, uh, you know, Robin and the Straw Hats will interpret things differently. You know, you're a real scholar, unlike us. What, what I'm getting from this is that I think Roger here, the tragedy of Roger's life is that Roger could have been, like, this prophesized like Joy Boy 2.0 or like savior of the world, future person. It could have been Roger, except Roger was born, or Roger had a, had a disease and he died like 10 years or so before the mermaid princess was born. And that mermaid princess is kind of the most important character in all of One Piece, as far as I can tell, because she, as her role, in her role as Poseidon, you know, weaponizing the Sea Kings, I think, is going to be, like, the most important thing at the end of One Piece as what, like, destroys the thing in the red line, may, like, destroys Marie Joie, uh, like, eliminates the, the, the Ten Ryubito, like, from their place above everybody, maybe destroys, you know, whatever other outposts around the world that, like, the Marines are using to, like, oppress, or the, the world go nobles are using to oppress people, and, like, raises Fishman Allen from the depths, and possibly also creates all blue. I think all of these things are being tied up directly in, like, the existence of Poseidon, and that's, if Roger had just not had this disease, it could have been him, like, 10 or 20 years later or whatever. He was just unlucky, and so, like, someone had to be a successor, and I kind of think that's what he passed along to to Roger. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying, just consider this as well. Shanks being so into Luffy at the very beginning of the series, like, sure, maybe he just thought he was cool. He said, like, Captain. He said the same words as the Captain. Isn't that interesting? 
maybe one of the reasons, maybe this could be a retcon a little bit, maybe not. I don't really give a shit either way. Like maybe one of the reasons Ra uh, Shanks was so into like, whoa, there's a kid out there who's just like Roger is because Shanks with all this insider knowledge knew that like one day there would be some person who would rise up to be just like Roger and like do what he just didn't have the time to do. And that's where he's like, whoa, this kid, I know that someone's going to do it. Maybe this kid could be the one who, uh, uh, who did it. So, you know. I, sure. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't just be any old kid. And he would need to. Well, sure. To he, be res for, for various be reasons, him. he respected Luffy and thought he was a good lad. Uh, yeah. I mean, whether that's all. true or not, I think that sort of doesn't matter. Um, Here's a question, though. Why didn't Shanks just do it? Why didn't Shanks do the thing? I mean, Whatever I think that's is. what he's been trying to do. Like, he's be become a Yonko. Mm. Like, I'm sure he's, like, not just sitting around being a powerful pirate. He's clearly... He's got things going on. I mean, he appeared... He, he met the world government for some reason. That's gotta yeah. be a big deal. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me just say, if they're... Shanks better fucking have all the four Poneglyphs things because the crew he was on literally had them. Maybe they didn't give it to him because he was like too young at the time or something, I guess. But like, it would sure be annoying to have to go recollect all the fucking Poneglyphs when your crew had them when you were a lad. Uh, now that you're a fucking Yonko. Uh, okay, but whatever, whatever. Uh, I just um, checked. I guess we'll see. Uh, the wiki, mm -hmm. Shirahoshi is 16 uh, right now. Okay. So That roughly checks out, I think. So yeah, roughly checks out that 10 years and then 15 to grow. Mm -hmm. The thing is, what were they saying? Plus, there was a time skip. Or well, the the whales are delighted in anticipation of the day the two sovereigns shall meet again. Yeah, what? I, so it's, like, it's it, be... it would have been when yeah, Shirahoshi was fifteen, because that's the time frame they're talking about. When Shirahoshi was fifteen, she would meet someone who would be the other sovereign. But like, when mm. was that, and who was it? Because I, you know, I I didn't I don't think know a lot whether... about these numbers. Um, because, like, mm. Luffy is 19, isn't he? Like, he's he's too old for this. I believe so. I, you know, I don't I don't know about these numbers. Maybe I should care actually more than I do. Like, the, we, the 10 thing until Shirahoshi's born, like, we know that's true. We know that that's accurate. This, excuse me, fucking this 15-year thing, I don't know what that's about exactly. Well, I don't right. know. Here, here's the thing. It, it could yeah. be, like, just 10 until the birth, and then another right. 15 that's for that one to grow. But that's just the time the the two meet. Shirahoshi would be 15 because, you know, the birth is, is ex uh, explained to be then. If you say but so. But, like, that, do that doesn't necessarily mean that when she meets the person, uh, mm. the other person will be the same age. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because they it don't, say, be, they don't say births. They say birth. Indeed. So I, I definitely don't think this, like, rules out Luffy. And I, I think it is extremely likely that they are, in fact, referring to Luffy here. Uh, um, I suppose it is. I suppose it's the most obvious choice. It's just sort of like... Yeah. And yet another thing that is like, he didn't earn it. He just was born to be a very important person. Okay, don't get me wrong. I hate prophecies. They're they're like do nothing story development. The character doesn't have to do anything to achieve them. They are shit. Absolutely true. But we already knew that Luffy was ra okay. I, I'm just saying that like ever since Fishman Island. In retrospect, Fishman Island is kind of the most important arc in the entire fucking series. With, like, this prophecy shit from Shirahoshi, with its obvious ties into Marie Joie and Poseidon and, and all that stuff. Um, prophecy stuff was wrapped up in the Fishman Island arc with Shirley's existence. I hated it then. I hate it now. I never liked it. But since it was already inserted in Fishman Island, I don't think this makes it much worse. It just, like, it's the same prophecy... Uh, as what was prophesized then, that, like, Luffy will be the one to, like, destroy Fishman Island, quote-unquote, which we all know is going to mean, like, save them. Yeah, but them and... it, it changes it because it's, like, it's not, yeah. um, it, a prophecy is not, like, it doesn't create a person. It just sort of, like, explains the future. Like, right, right. A, a, if a person uh, appears and they do something incredible, then mm -hmm. the prophecy will explain that this person is about to do something incredible. But it doesn't mean the person who does it like, has an advantage over the other people who, you know... It just so happens that, that I this mean, is the person. Like, they, you know, through the hard thing, work and effort. The thing that I sense about this is that I think that Oda, and a lot of writers do this, and I hate when they do this so much. Like, okay, we as readers of One Piece, we know that Luffy, like, has done amazing things. That he has some powers and stuff. He's got, like, this can hear the voice of mysterious stuff. 
we as readers know that Luffy has done these things and will do amazing things. I think he's that the main character, Oda yeah. feels indeed because of the main character. I think that Oda and a lot of writers, maybe it's even a cultural thing, because I see this a lot in Japanese media. Uh, I think that they maybe think that because we as the readers know that that's happening, they feel like they have license to just go in and backfill prophecy to explain things that we already know have happened and like maybe even kind of will happen. Because does it change the narrative? No, it just is annoying that they're like filling in this it, yeah, stupid it's... filler shit. Like, I can't think of a, of a time when a, mm-hmm. a main character prophecy that has been, like, retroactively fitted mm-hmm. to make their accomplishments fit into a grand narrative that was preordained. It always sucks. Every like, time. It's, it's, it's so... It's so it's, I don't know whether it's overused so much as it's, like, yeah. always bad. I haven't just seen always it be bad. done Never well. use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, like, it, it doesn't really necessarily ruin anything. But mm-hmm. it doesn't add anything, and I don't know it why it It leaves a bad taste happens. in my mouth. Yeah. Like, I mean, I love the idea of, like, uh, you know, we, we've talked about this a bunch of times, but, like, I just love the idea of, like, some kid. Look, I mean, Roger created the golden age of piracy, right? Great. So, like, by doing that, he uh, this is probably why he did this stuff, because he knew he was going to die. He's like, someone needs to pick up the job where I left off in, like, ten years or something. Like, what can I do? I'm going to inspire the world. And he, he did a beautiful thing. It's an incredible goal. Fa- fabulous writing, Oda. Absolutely love it. But, like, in doing that, you've just created, like, a million billion people who are going to go be pirates. One of those will probably be the strongest and the best and succeed at this goal eventually. It doesn't need to literally be, like, a person with, like, a destined backstory and, like, you know, all these connections to Roger's son. It could have been anybody. And that's, like, the fact that we see that one person struggle and emerge as the victor is is a more satisfying arc to follow than, like, like our boy was just destined from the start. And yes, you can argue, by making a main character, you effectively decide who that destiny will be about. But this is about the feel of it and how you fill in, like, the lore about that person. Just keep that destiny shit to a minimum. We don't need to know that, like, oh, and then it was chronicled that this would be the day that the faded boy and the mermaid princess would meet, and lo, it would lead to, you know, some bullshit that, that happened later. That's just, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Let Luffy accomplish things on his own. Uh, you know, like, things like Luffy getting saved when he was about to get executed by Buggy. That was, like, the early game One Piece, like, oh, Jesus, like, here, go, here goes Luffy with his, like, retarded luck and, like, hack writing and stuff, but but looking at it now, it's like, well, no, I mean, Luffy happened to be saved, it seems, likely by someone who controlled the weather, even though I would rather believe it was just lightning, and that, like, this was the one moment where, like, you could even call it, like, heaven, deciding that, like, Luffy would be the chosen, like, you, you get one, you get one of those, but... Now it's like, oh, uh, well, Luffy was destined all along to never be killed, and, like, his father was Dragon, like, the most legendary man in the world, who probably controls the weather, so, like, he did it, and, so, you know, some of these details are acceptable. Some of them are rather grating and, and, and weigh I on just, me. I just, I, I like mm-hmm. the, the story of the bumfuck nobody in the magical yeah. world. Like, that is just mm-hmm. something I like in general. Mm-hmm. And, and it, you know, it sort of... I don't like it when it's it's rubbed. I mean, it, it's not really like Luffy has always always been like uh, exceptional. Like he's never mm-hmm. been like uh, uh, just a schlub, and he managed to work his way up. He's right. like really strong all the way through. It's just um, maybe due to just that that, training, that, that little guess, taste, originally. that little that little yeah. like tinge of of oh. destiny bullshit. Uh, like yeah uh, yeah yeah. It's a little bit of the wind out of my sails, but there's still wind. I'm still going. I... We're still we're still sailing okay. right now. No, that's true. And, and you know what? I'll say I'll say one final thing about this. Uh, maybe I'll revisit it. I, I think we've covered it all basically now. But like, let's reflect quickly on that moment where our based boy Imsama went down into the annals of Marie Joie and opened up that vault. And what was inside? A big frozen straw hat. What does that mean? It's Joy Boy's hat. Uh... He wore it. <laughs> I mean, these are some of the implications that we're thinking now. He, here's one thing for me that doesn't completely ruin One Piece with Destiny bullshit. And it's 
if we have it so that in the story, like, we later see... I mean, there's there's some theories going around that I was too speculating. Like, oh my god, what if, like, Luffy goes back in time via an awakened Toki Toki no Mi Devil Fruit, and he is Joy Boy in the past, who blah 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 did all this shit. Um, Lol. I, I mean, I, maybe, probably not. I like to think that Oda's a, a smarter writer than that. What What is more reasonable and, and could explain this more is, like, some people are like, oh my god, the straw hat was like the crown of the king of the ancient kingdom. Oh my god, kill me. Uh, but something <laughs> like, that actually well, makes I mean, that, that like, wouldn't not... That wouldn't actually be that silly, I think. Because it's like straw hats straw hat. in... Well, yeah, but like straw hats, it's like a um, mm-hmm. symbolic of like the working class, the rice farmer, the simple man. Oh, come the... on. You know that that's giving then the there's... straw hat that happens to be Luffy's hat. It's a... The hat was originally nothing. It was just a straw hat. And to give it this destiny bullshit... Is no, very I th- well, all right. concerning. I think that maybe the reason he was given a straw hat in the very first place, because it's not a pirate hat. It is like a cheap, shoddy hat that has a lot of love poured into it. Sure. I think that was like Oda's sort of... I mean, there's clearly some thought put into Luffy's character design. Yeah, it's his only like, distinguishing like, like characteristic the pir- in the beginning like, of the series. <laughs> like the, 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 the whole idea of like pirates uh, and the oppressive world government... The, be- the people in power and the small little man who's just fighting against it and fuck you world government like I think th- okay, those parallels are so very different so from obvious like, and, and that, like fine, clear but that's a separate thing from like destiny the kings of the ancients war oh no no I, I, I'm just saying like if mm. it turns out that like straw hats are just like a, si- a symbol of like mm-hmm. like that sort of the the revolution the 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 the, 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 the little man fighting against yeah the big man who wears like a mm. golden pope hat or whatever then yeah. i don't think it's going to be that stupid when we re- we learn that that's why there's a okay. hat in there Th- that's not the worst explanation uh for for something like that does it make me want to kill myself a little a little yeah yeah it does well, um, why b- uh, because it's still adding over too much symbolism to a thing that like uh, it, it's not the end. I, I guess the way it is. that you explained it is acceptable to me. I don't yeah. like. I, I mean, want it it's to, just like you said. Like with characters, I want the hat to also be an everyman thing that just happened to be the thing that was. It's just just like it could have been any treasure, man. It just could have been anything that happened to be the symbol of inherited will from Roger to Shanks to Luffy that he you know capitalized on. I I, I can deal with it. I honestly, we've got enough backstory with it being Roger's hat. In my humble opinion. Um, but, but it, let me just say the one thing, because like we we know it's in the vault, that giant hat or whatever, Eam Sama and all that stuff. Like the thing that makes that like for me re- more acceptable, considering what we've got, is that like if there was someone in the past who saw the future and knew of the existence of uh, like a potent maybe Joy Boy tour or whatever, and like this person saw the future and they saw Luffy just like Madame Charlie, and they were like, okay, this guy who just happens to have a straw hat. He will be the one to save us one day, and like, will this will be our symbol of that person? As, as in, it's still basically due to chance. It just happened to point to the guy who would be the main character of One Piece one day. To me, maybe people think this is this is overly nuanced, but to me, I think there's a big difference, and that could work for me um, in ways that the hat being, you know, the literal crown of the ancient kingdom is. I just find a yeah. little bit, uh, you know, cliche. I guess so. if it's like an ancient kingdom, it is a bit strange. Like a kingdom, like mm-hmm. well, how was it described? Do you remember? Um, well, I don't think I don't like, think one it, word is spoken about it. They simply look. Okay, there's just so a like hat it's in a just room. there's yeah. just a hat in a room. Yeah. Maybe it's just like there was a village and they wear straw hats there that look like that, and that's where Joy Boy is from, and that's where Roger got his hat, traveling, or maybe he's from that island, or you know, it's just like just some sort of hat. It is a, it's a design. <laughs> and it just so happens that like the main character of One Piece and Joy Boy or whoever Ooh, that just happened. That is, Ooh, that convenience just makes happened. me want to die. I hate it. Just happened to be the same hat. Well, I mean, it's convenient only in the sense that Roger decided to have that hat yeah, and then he inspired well, yeah. Luffy. Uh, just just leave it at that. Roger had a straw hat, he passed it on. Just just do that. Just do that, Oda. Please. Please, <laughs> love of God. Well, it's too Don't, late now. Uh, there's a there's a frozen hat in the room and it's really big. That, well, I think my explanation uh, could work for people like me. Okay, anyway, we, we can cover more of this if we encounter more, but I think we basically got, yeah, yeah, yeah. got all the all hail the beats there. Um, so, okay, just to finish up this, Roger's like, we were too early. Uh, the One Piece, don't know who will find it, maybe my son. Uh, but then they sail on and say, um, yeah, they say I will hey, have a son. Yeah, they haven't got a son yet. 
I'm yeah, gonna he's go gonna work let's, on it. He's gonna let's work go, on it. Let's go let's go fuck everybody and He literal Roger's last goal is he had to go fuck. That was his last job. He had to go get some bitch. Oh, you know what? I I, I kinda like this a lot. It's that like, sure, Roger literally had a son that could be like the chosen one, right? Like literally Roger's son. How's this? for fucking inherited will and like how's this for non-destiny roger had a son who he like thought would be like the future pirate king but he fucking died and just our bum fuck nobody luffy who happens to be the son of the most wanted man in the world and has like the starring congress hockey and blah 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 all that destiny bullshit uh it just happened to be some bum fuck nobody who be who would you know go on to say now that now that i love and i'm way into but uh, even then, Luffy still is a bit too much destiny bullshit on his side. Uh, uh, it's, just, it's, uh, it's what, it's one step. Much. It's one step in the right direction. It, it, that you're respect. absolutely right. I, I'll take. I'll be gratitude. I have gratitude for what Oda gives me, and this this is good. This right here, saying fuck, you know, inherited, you know, genetics, fuck sins. It's about it's about the will. It's about the era of piracy, and whoever has the strongest will to make it and has the best friends and whatnot, they'll they'll be the one. Ooh, yeah, that that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff right there. So, uh, yeah. so, so Roger says we're gonna Roger let's, let's sail. His, we're gonna break his, up. I'm gonna get off the ship, boys, and get Odin home after me. Yeah. So he says something to Rayleigh. I think it makes Rayleigh cry. I can't it's, tell. It seems to. It seems to. I. I you says, know. Do you think he said something? Uh, when I saw that scene, I I wanted to go reread the entire scene of of Rayleigh talking to to Luffy and and the Straw Hats in Shabundi. I you know I didn't have enough time to do it. But like, if anyone has anything that like they think might definitively have been passed along in that scene, like um, I don't know, like that that moment where uh, I think Rayleigh flashback to Shanks telling him about Luffy and being like he he said those same words as the captain, uh, you know, vice captain or whatever, the same words. I'm I'm curious if anyone uh, remembers something like that. Oh, and you can see Rayleigh is holding Roger's captain hat as uh, as Roger steps away from the ship. Oh man, this is so fucking sad. Like all your boys are together. You did all these adventures for so long. You conquered the fucking world and you disband the crew and you're the first one to leave. And these guys just sailing without their leader. Oh God, it's so fucking sad. Oh, I want to see this anime in the anime. It's going to make me cry. Like, they're, they're, they're sailing and they're just sort of looking at each other and like, what do we do now? What do we, who's, who's in, I guess Rayleigh's in charge, you know. Until Rayleigh's they, in charge, but like, yeah. Every, you look around and everyone's just got a big frown big frown on their face uh buggy and and shanks and, and scopper gaban and crocus and all these other fuck boys oh <laughs> oh that one so he says his final hurts. goodbye never to be alive again he goes to get executed i guess i i uh, think at this for point fun. he's gonna go impregnate <laughs> porcus de rouge i don't know i don't know if he had knew her up to this point i'm curious no. if, we'll, if we'll see i think him, he, like, just, he just he just he just meets her and he says hey you know i hey, uh bitch. the grand line uh <laughs> yeah you know, that's I need mean. a son, so, uh, come on. And Dude, then it this, worked. This is so sad. I mean, I don't know. Like, he spent so much of his life, like, on this ship that Tom made for him. Now he's just going to go walk off like some dumb piece of shit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm sorry. There's one other thing I want to point out about this. Um, The fucking egg is still on the ship and clearly unhatched. What is in that fucking egg, oh, Roger? What the fuck is the egg? Roger what didn't the fuck even see it hatch. the egg? So, Could yeah, the where... edge be Shirahoshi? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> um, probably could not. The egg, but, uh... Could the egg be um, uh, the other... It's Baron Tamago. Uh, One day Baron Tamago would hatch from that egg. Become the Dr. Eggman of the One it's Piece It's Baron world. Trump. <laughs> I'm here, boys. Now, he is the true inheritor. Of the will, you know, because when I assassinate President Donald Trump and his will will be uh, passed to me. Uh, uh, subscribe to our Patreon, please, Baron Trump. We know you love anime. Um, <laughs> I right. mean, I'm, I, what the fuck is in that? Do, I, I'll just say it again. This is the final point I think we'll ever mention it until we learn stuff way later. Do you think that the egg has anything to do with, like, destiny or, like, potential future things because he was too uh, early? Yeah, I think I the know. egg... Well, yeah, no, I I think I was say, said it before. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the egg has definitely got something to do with the current events mm -hmm. that will shape the world. You know, what the, the fuck is in there? Like, it's God, just it's, it's a bird. Me. It's a real cool bird. And, it's literally and the eagle. Luffy will come up to it and he'll say, "Hey, uh, come on out, join my crew," and the egg will go. Dude, it's gonna be <laughs> true. It's gonna be the, like the fucking eagles from uh, you know, Lord of the Rings that they could have just ridden the fucking eagles to, you know, laugh tail yeah, and a, fucking a, win. 
I mean, at least in this, they, they, they had an excuse because it's still an egg. <laughs> oh, that Viraja, that is true. That is true. Uh, I'm still very eager to learn what exactly the obstacles are that uh, that prevent you from getting to Laugh Tail. Because, like, uh, all, we, I'm just just for the sake of, a, of of clarification on it, like, the the thing of the of the Grand Line is that like you can't sail in a straight direction. Like, it fucks up your navigation, and you just go in weird directions. So normally, you can rely on a poneglyph, or sorry, on a uh, on a log, log pose. pose. Um, but that just that doesn't happen when you get to um, Lodestar Island or whatever. So like they had to figure out on paper some plan, and I'm really curious to see what that turns out to be. And I hope it is satisfying how they how they get around that. Uh, okay, yeah. but anyway, All right? We, this chapter's gonna take three hours. I um, know, I know. <laughs> so uh, they go back to Wano, big st uh, rapid currents. Yep. Uh, you know, we 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 know that. Mm -hmm, and and mm -hmm. they say, but now we must open its ports before the day that Joy Boy appears. So that's Odin doing his okay. like. Okay, that's I, the I line gotta do... I forgot about. This this implication before the day that Joy Boy appears. Okay, well th this is the, that's exactly what I was trying to remember before. This implication that Joy Boy will appear made me think. Th that's why I quoted from last chapter. Maybe Joy Boy actually did not exist in the past, and there was no Joy Boy in the past. It simply was all a prophecy about a future person who would be Joy Boy in the future. Oh, and that's like a title okay. or something. And that's why you think and that could have been be Luffy. born in your time. Okay. Exactly. That's that's why I brought that up. Yeah, I'm sorry I forgot about that, everybody. But that was the point because of this specific line that clearly they have insider info about Joy Boy. So m maybe there was a Joy Boy in the past. Because, like, it, when, when the, the one thing that seems strange about it is when Robin read the Poneglyph in Fishman Island, it seemed like an apology note from Joy Boy. But, like, maybe that was, like, prophecy stuff, or, or maybe there was a second Joy Boy in the past. I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, that, this is serious I, I implications. Think it could, it's gotta it be could just be, like, Joy Boy, maybe at mm -hmm. the end, like, wrote us, you know, Last yeah. Tale, it said, he wrote the story and is like, I mm. will be reincarnated as Joy Boy 2. And, uh, no, not more destiny bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be it's, prophecy it's, shit like it that. It would be, it would be either exactly the same thing. It's just yeah. that Joy Boy was a person and he knew what his future was, or like his like inherited will. Like somebody will come and is, do this thing in the future. You're right. I I just like the idea of kind of like. I, to me, it makes a big difference. If you have, like, non-specific inherited will, it could have been anybody, and, like, a champion arose and, like, claimed the will. That's mostly how I how I perceive Luffy, and it's great, and I love it. Uh, obviously, they're, they're doing a little bullshit here and there, but it's okay. O overall, it totally works for me. Um, but to make him, like, a... Like, a literal reincarnation of like oh, an ancient thing. No, I didn't thing. mean like literally. I'm like, just saying that's what happened to Naruto. Soul. That's what happened to Naruto with Naruto and Sasuke. Don't make me shit on you <laughs> the same way I had to with Naruto, Oda. Don't do it. Okay, but I, I think that it. Uh, Wait, did Naruto? How did? Remember how Naruto it? and Sasuke actually turned out to be like the reborn spirits of like a pair of destined gay lovers throughout time, and also brothers that had been reincarnated over and over again. No, no, what I'm talking uh, about. I, I mean, I guess I kind of forget that part. It's true. It I swear it's true. It's real. <laughs> I, it's destiny uh, bullshit, and I hate it. <laughs> it, it God, okay, the, I'm just saying so the equivalent much. of that. Sasuke was not intended to be like as main of a character as he turned out to be, and the story just evolves because you know a serialized weekly shonen or whatever. If if Luffy and Law turned out to be like destined brothers that became like dual main characters, and it was like there, and then like there was prophecies I, I don't about like think them you have to together. Worry about that. That's the equivalent. That's the okay. That's not gonna happen. But if it did, that would be the equivalent of. Uh, I mean, the closest equivalent would be Zoro. Because um, he's the closest. I mean, I would hate that equally. That would be equally retarded. But uh, or maybe I mean, Blackbeard. Yeah. But either way, it's. Uh, doesn't black matter. pilled black beard. God, I can't wait to see him some more. Um, All right. So okay, anyway, Odin sorry. says goodbye as well. Odin is now yeah. back on Bono, and the the Roger flashback is over. We it's over. Back. It seems to be completely over, as far as yeah. we can tell. So incredible. Now it's the Odin flashback. What yet again? He's back. Oh in, God, in I Wano. forgot we were doing that. <laughs> yeah, this whole time this has been the the Odin flashback. Not and um. And uh, fucking, he's he's home, and he's immediately back. you can you can see that everyone is in poor like like the, I don't know like I mean it's it's obvious shorthand for yeah. their clothing to have just patches of squares like yes, cut out yes, and, and right. patched in squares all over it. 
Um, <laughs> it is just a bit silly. It does the job. Because everyone has a patch of square of fabric. They're all suffering under late stage capitalism, Gabe. <laughs> and it's a nightmare <laughs> for everybody. We need socialism now. That, and I hope that uh, Lord and Odin will have a chance to institute it before, uh, before he croaks. Yeah, so he's he's back. <laughs> Toki's happy. Yes, Momonosuke's comrade. happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything's cool. And, oh, well, uh, I mean, the fucking scabbards are like, welcome back, you scum piece of shit motherfucker. Remember how you abandoned us for years and years to go do whatever the fuck? Uh, well, not our fault. Everything's gone to shit now. Okay, they, they don't get into how things are shit yet. Right now, they're like, everybody loves Odin. Remember how they hated Odin and feared him at the beginning of the flashback? That's because Lady Toki's been working her magic. Uh, yeah, as I she's understand been it, she's just been showing everyone that sh- that uh, that Odin is the coolest guy, and the mm-hmm. fact that he's not here and is letting the country fall into ruin is okay. Oh, it's He'll... fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's great, as a matter of fact. Uh, I don't really know how she managed to convince them. Possibly via a massive amount of sexual favors. That would be my strategy if I were her. Um, but uh, but now, but now she's back, and uh, <laughs> it's all been worth it. Um, and apparently, I mean, they, they give her the thing of like, oh, she never like put on airs of being a daimyo's wife. She just worked in the gutter with the rest of the fuck, you know, the scum yeah, yeah. fucks, and it was great. And I mean, uh, I'm sure she had a lot of like fun because she always wanted to be in Wano. That, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she. I'm sure she loves Japan. Period, and was like, I love sushi. I love J Rock and Garuga Mesh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good for you. So, um, welcome back. So, uh, what's the, the Kiku? Kiku is now grown up a little and is oh, yeah, yep, more yep. like we, we know the, her, him. Indeed. Her, her, yeah. they, they say him, but And whatever. Izo, Izo will never come back. Izo is now a white T-chan pirate. Indeed. It has been established. He just loves fucking Whitebeard and wants to be there. I mean, we don't really ever, the, the last no words I think we heard from him were like, I that. hate you, Whitebeard. And now we're, we cut, there was like no scenes that showed any character growth from there. And now it's like, oh no, he, he fucking loves white beer, wants to suck his cock every day. I mean, same, but uh, I would I would have liked, just like, just one panel would have been nice to see his like transformation. But uh, okay, I, I get the gist. Doesn't really need uh, much focus. Yeah, so um, Denjiro and Ashura uh, mm-hmm. have left for, for the moment. Uh, right, Den- right. Uh, Ashura is like uh, leading the Yakuza and the bandits so to, like to give them structure so they don't go nuts. Right, which um, is which is and, good. So and Denjiro, Denjiro has just been wandering around, mm-hmm. uh, doing this the same old stuff he used to do, borrowing and, and scamming people. I well, guess. I, you know, in the in the corrections on the potty ones, it specifically there was a correction saying like he wasn't scamming anyone. He was like specifically like giving back money. I think he was like it's implied that he's trying to like make things right again. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I th- I yeah. think that was the gist. But I mean, yeah. Odin does comment like, uh, you know, holding back brings borrowing money. Like th- these are signs that the country is in bad shape overall. So maybe maybe I'm a little off about that. Um, but uh, but I mean, and uh, by the way, Denjiro, who is still missing from uh, you know like our current day, we have no idea where Denjiro is. I hope and expect he'll show up like for the final battle in in some. Oh, capacity. he should. He's got. To, I, I think but... it's definitely implied that uh, that that may happen. But uh, yeah, I mean, if, so, if he's uh... gonna turn out to be fucking Zoro's teacher, then I guess let's let's make some developments here. Um, I don't think he will, but uh, I mean, his name is literally different, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah, so they're just catching him up to speed. His mm-hmm. your, your dad's dead, um, and uh, oh, yeah. that mm-hmm. that sucks, and there's a new shogun, Whoops. and it's Orochi, and uh, that's that's sort of that sort of sucks, because he's, he's an asshole. And he's, he's rightfully like, wait, wait, I, I never liked this shitty motherfucker why does everyone think he's my brother and of course we know it's because of that the the mane mane no me mr two devil fruit using lady who's fucking tricking everybody and fucking with him and making him installed in power and that the korozumis seem to be up to their old tricks of, of taking over the country or something yeah so That's so basically the rest of this chapter is like catching odin up to mm. speed on what has been happening which is stuff we already know yeah orochi has built factories all over the place mm-hmm. he's uh, making people work Extremely long hours with low wages, a- yep. a- aka slavery, um, and uh, it sucks for everyone. Indeed. And uh, he's got a pirate named Kaido backing him, and that's how he's able to to, to control everyone like this. And I Odin am... is furious. Oh, indeed, I'm just I'm really curious, and I want to know more about how Orochi and Kaido hooked up in the first place. It was clearly during this period that happened. Oh, you know what? I mean, it was probably 
what's her face? Like that Mane Mane, you know, old lady. She probably, because she had been off off base, off Wano or whatever. She probably arranged it somehow, I guess. But uh, I, I still want to learn more about how that, we'll probably see that when we cut back yeah. to the future or something. Yeah. So the Red Scabbards did uh, try to stop him, but mm, mm. Uh, in their in their efforts to do so, uh, Kaido's men yes. snuck into the castle and, and injured Toki. They straight up tried to murder the whole fucking family. This was their goal. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Good thing they stopped him. Lol. Yeah, and, yeah, and then Odin sees that she's got the wound on her leg, and she's like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And it's like... He's, 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 he gets real He let out a single real bruh. Mad. Yeah, in, indeed. <laughs> a bruh that shook the earth. <laughs> I love that rage face. That that incel rage. Lol, die, Odin. Fuck you. Uh, incredible. Yeah, so like, everything has gone to shit and he feels like... That's what you, you know, get for abandoning your shit, you deadbeat dad motherfucker. Okay, but he's back. He's back. And he's gonna yeah, He's, he's, gonna he's back straight. and he is gonna set things straight. He's charging straight to the capital. As fast as Classic possible, Odin. sonic speed. I'm so glad he doesn't fuck around. It's just, this is exactly what Odin does in every situation. Very in character. And I, I love that panel of him just, like, leaping across the bridge at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. No, 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 no time for bridge. No, no, no. <laughs> he doesn't need that fucking bridge. Incredible. Incredible. So a fool is taking control of Wano. Mm. And, uh, yeah. He comes right up to the front gates. He smashes fucking everyone to smithereens with his two Word, swords. word is clearly getting out that like they're like, oh, Odin's invading, but the, the, the people are happy. But the pirates are, and you know, Orochi are clearly like, oh shit, here he comes. We're fucked. So I, th- I think that we will see some strong pirates appearing uh, momentarily. In my estimation. oh yes, yes, mm. because uh, if if Orochi doesn't suddenly have some defense, he is dead immediately after this. Indeed. Panel. Indeed. Although uh, Orochi o- has already eaten that one devil fruit, probably as far as we know, so maybe he'll pull out some, you know, strength. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps. I I, I assume what's mm-hmm. more likely. Actually, yeah. it could be. It could be either one. Because I don't. Have we seen? No, we have seen. His in the flashback, we have form. not seen him use it yet. Yeah. So. Um... We've seen the dragon form in the in the present. Have we? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't do much so with it, but you know, it's certainly notable. Um, but I mean, here he is. Odin has burst in. He killed all the fucking, uh, troopers. He pulled a big Sekiro and assassinated everybody. And he's right up on Odin, like, fucking that. He's instantly there. And, and fucking Orochi's is like, uh, d- please stop, sir. D- uh, Kaido won't like it if you kill me. And he's like, I'm going to, I'll worry about that after I've fucking murdered you and cut you into two pieces. Uh, and Orochi is just like, oh no. So, I mean... Classic Odin doing his bullshit. Something has got to save Orochi here, obviously, before he gets murdered, uh, which maybe is Devil Fruit. Maybe it'll be Kaido showing up or something. But I mean, w- I-, I believe if I remember the-, the-, the history correctly, it's not for several more years that uh, uh, Odin gets like his family destroyed. I-, I think I could be wrong about that. It might be like immediately, but I, I think he's going to get away at least temporarily, and there will be some like battle for power going on for like a couple years before um before uh, things go yeah, to I shit. I wonder about that. I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. it's clearly like Odin will not rest on his laurels yeah, after yeah. he he sees everything that's going wrong and he's like I have to change this. I have to stop this. I'm I should be the shogun mm-hmm. or whatever. I mean, he, he might um, immediately start to like form an army and then just do that for like, I don't know, a couple months or a year yeah, or something. Yeah, it's, it's it's weird. I don't mm-hmm. I don't really think of that being like something that takes years in the story like you know I, I could be, between that's why, kaido and, and odin well that, that's true i could just be wrong i mean maybe now is literally as soon as he gets home he goes to fight uh you know uh orochi and like kaido will show up like next panel and be like nope and then they will i i believe he gets killed in his house like i think it can't be like literally right now so i think there'll be like a little more time till that happens but um i mean we'll we'll, we'll see we, we shall see soon but, I mean, I guess that pretty much brings us up to date as to what's going down in One Piece Town. Uh, and I guess we'll just have to wait till January 26th or so for the next chapter. Uh, very exciting. Yeah. It looks like releases are going to be more regular now, thank God. And we will uh, rely on our boys, the Podcast and Viz, to give us all the shit we need the to poddy, know. Uh, the Poddy scans, you mean? Oh, the, the po- Poddy scans. Poddy scans, my, my mistake. But really, it's the Poddy Escort and the Poddy Cast or your uh, lifelines to all things One Piece, so... Why not head over to patreon.com slash the podcast? Wait, no. Uh, yeah, the podcast pirates. That's the one. And give us money for doing the show. I would certainly appreciate it. Yeah. Um, 
join the Discord Ooh. down below. I mean, is there anything else you have to say about the chapter? I, I'm tapped. I mean, yeah, I'm I mean, tapped. after the Roger stuff stopped, yeah. um, it was pretty much a lot of what we already knew. Right. Um, and just getting us back up to speed mm -hmm. uh, with Odin and his far less interesting backstory flashback, but yet still pretty cool. I mean, how could it compete cool. with Gold Roger, man? I mean, we've been waiting yeah. for that Gold Roger shit for 20 years, basically. Uh, so I, I, I can't blame him. But you know what I appreciate? Oda is not wasting our time, man. He's like, let's take our time with this Gold Roger a little bit. We're back to Orochi. Okay, we're back to Odin. Fucking speed through it, man. Let's give him, like, one more chapter. I, I hope we have, like, literally one... I would be... If there's more than one more chapter of flashback, I'm gonna be like, oh, God, please. Please just get back to the main story and let's move things along. I mean, along. I, s I feel like there could be two, because there could be, there like... There could be two. Um... Kaido and and you know the beast pirates yeah. uh, defeating or like pushing back Odin here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then some series of events that leads to yeah mm. the burning of the mansion and Toki explaining to the red scabbards mm -hmm. that you have to go mm -hmm. into the future. I'm gonna put you in the future now. You gotta you gotta do something. And this is her, like, that's going to be her moment. That's going to be the biggest moment of the yes. chapter. It, it, very true. That could happen next chapter. That could I, happen I all in does. one chapter, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but you know what? The good news is, this is, pr like, finally, all our waiting is paid off. Finally, like, the fighting is happening. Like, the class. So at least this is good stuff. I do enjoy it, and uh, it's not as dense as the Roger stuff, but how, how fucking could it be? Um, so, so, yeah, we're, we're moving along. Oda, this is all good stuff. Uh, I've, as I said, I've made my grievances about prophecy stuff, but hey, I, not much I can do at this point. Um, but, uh, just, just keep it funny. Keep it funny, Oda. And a lot of your ideas are great. Do you, uh, do you feel any pessimism about the fate of One Piece long term, having read these last couple of Gold Roger flashbacks? Any worries about how the ending will be? Anything like that? Um, well, I'm trying to think, like, what would annoy me? I think... Mm-hmm. As long as certain cool things happen along the way, I won't be too disappointed. Mm -hmm. Like, questions I'm sure need to be answered, but, yeah. um, you know, characters inter like, character interactions, like, Blackbeard will have uh, a battle with Luffy, yeah. um, Shanks will be involved, like, there's gonna be a mm -hmm. lot of stuff mm -hmm. happening, and as long as, you know, the big players who have not yet been a focus, get right, their time, right. then I don't really mind exactly how it ends. You know, I want to see Elbaf, I want to see cool moments with the, the Straw Hats that have not had moments for years. <laughs> I think that might be the most thing that I am disappointed by, by the end of One Piece. Just, like, a lack yeah. of, like, focus on, what's what's like, Frankie up to these like days? Like, if, 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 if Chopper, if Chopper, Chopper does yeah. nothing in, in Wano, then, like, when... And it it's, probably it's over. will never happen. It's over. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm sure we'll get some like, oh, things. People were injured in the battle. There's the couple panels of Chopper healing them. How interesting. <sighs> How wonderful. Uh, you know. Come on, Oda. Come on. <laughs> Give us some good shit. Uh, I, I guess I just the ending. Yeah, you know, it's since like the two chapters ago or whatever. People have been there. There have been some people who are like. Uh, what One Piece will just be like a story. It won't be like a big bombastic treasure or something. Because like right now, it's looking like the ancient weapon that we've been waiting for is Shirahoshi, who, you know, she isn't One Piece. She's just a character who we were waiting for. But as I've always said, like One Piece is all well, about... There's, there's, yeah, there's not yeah. just one ancient weapon. I don't know if Pluton or Uranus will necessarily be involved. Uh, I, I, mean, maybe I feel like they... I mean, the fact that there are multiple of them mm -hmm. sort of makes me feel like whatever mm. is culminating will involve all of them put together. You know, mm. the blueprints that Frankie blew up are burned. Um, maybe mm. he just remembers how to build the thing and it'll be like... <laughs> Probably does. You know, um, I... Maybe. I'm not so sure. It seems like we're putting all the emphasis on Shirahoshi specifically... Because, like, well, only oh, I mean, this. Roger could have gone to get Pluton. I mean, okay, he was about to die anyway, but, like, things could have been done in those times with Pluton and I don't know what Uranus is. Maybe on, on the moon, I think, is the theory about that. I, I don't know. A lot of moon shit going on. I don't understand. As yeah. long as everything that has been set up is, like, involved mm -hmm. in the end, then I'll be all right. Like, I don't... I, I can't imagine it being a catastrophic failure. Unless o yeah. uh, Oda, like, dies and doesn't get to draw the rest of it. 
But he's you know, probably I, got it written out, so it might even still happen. Right. That, that's happened with some stories. Like, the Wheel of Time author died, and then it was going for, like, 20 years, and then the guys finished up, his editors and whatnot. So, honestly, I'm not really that worried about One Piece getting... Like, even if Oda got hit by a bus and died right now, I think, like, the editors would probably release in some format, like, the end of the story, uh, even if, like, there's some horrible... Look, obviously that's not ideal, but, like, if it happens, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta work with what you got left. Um... I guess I just don't want One Piece to end with, like, too much dumb prophecy bullshit. Like, Blackbeard talks a lot about fate and a lot about destiny, and he's kind of the real main enemy. I, well, okay, the real main enemy is probably Eam and, like, the world government collectively, but Blackbeard is, is a different sort of main enemy. And what I want One Piece to be, this is just my selfish discussion, is I want One Piece to touch on the things that we've been talking about this episode with, like, it's about... Um, like, how the person who is the most free, like, is truly the person who, like, rules the world, effectively. It's not about control. It's about being able to do whatever you want and, you know, be a, be a, be a fun boy out in the world. That's the true pirate king. It's about how, like, you know, it's not about ac acquiring treasure or power. It's about what you care about the most is the true treasure out there. And for Luffy right now, it's probably, like, his hat and his crew and being free. So these, all these themes, like, tie together. Like I'm, I'm fine with like a big war happening if it's in service to these themes about like I'm, you know what I would free, like et I would I would like yeah. a lot of people mm -hmm. to like come to Luffy with stuff like, dude, mm -hmm. did you know that you're the you're the prophesized person and Luffy's just like I don't care and then the, he just you know, doesn't do the thing he they want him to do. <laughs> I think the good news is if someone came to Luffy uh, as the character he is and said, hey, you're the prophesized one, I have no doubt Luffy would be like, I don't give a shit, I don't care about that. Which is which is great, but that doesn't change if, in the service of the story, he still functions as the child of prophecy or whatever. That could still be. I mean, for me, those things are pretty annoying. I mean, I I think uh, Oda is pretty good at yeah. at those moments where I agree. Things seem to be falling into place, and then Luffy just does something wrong, and everyone's like, "Hey, wait! You're not supposed to do that!" Like, Law gets frustrated. Yeah. All the plans gone awry, and then it's just really funny. Like I like those moments. I, let's just look, keep it light, keep it funny, keep it about freedom and adventure and exploration. Just and keep stuff. it funny, that's as long I'm as it's funny. I don't as mind. As long what as happens. it's funny, like that's why I'll always talk about that one moment at the end of Naruto where he did sexy no jutsu on Kaguya. It was like the biggest thank God moment in Naruto. Saved Naruto's ending for me, and uh, yeah, as long as we have that kind of spirit there, I'll I'll be happy. So. I'm very optimistic, but you know, I was thinking about this uh, in my in my new Weagawa. Like, it's been in the ten years it's been now uh, of one. Like, the last decade ended. Basically, that entire ten year period was it was the very end of Marine Ford. It was like Luffy meeting Ace finally there and like saving him and then dying. The flashback and then all of the New World. That's been like the last ten years of One Piece. And like a lot of people think that One Piece is, is dropped off, including me in some ways. But like, really, it's just changed. And I think the ending could still be as amazing as it was ever intended to be. And we've just had, like, more flavor to add to it and, and many great adventures like Zoe and Whole Cake, Katakuri, all that good stuff. So I am still very excited and uh, pretty much have not has not dampered my expectations of what's going to happen much more than it just was with the existence of Shirley Charley back in Fishman Island already, which is to say I'm pretty happy with how everything's been going, uh, and I expect the series to to finish strong. So I, I hope everybody else agrees. But if not, hey, that's that's fair. That's fair. I guess that's it. So again, everybody, uh, head on over to patreon.com slash thepoddcastpirates if you want to support the show. Join the pod Discord down below if you want to talk one piece with us. A very active community. Everybody's always going kooky, spooky, active down there, including me. And uh, follow us on Twitter at, uh, what is it? At the pod Podcast Ahoy. At Podcast Ahoy. That's, or The Podcast Ahoy. Whatever it is, there will be a link down below. Uh, you'll, you'll see it down there. All right. Thanks for being here. We'll see you in a week, apparently, with the next episode. I cannot wait for more. Oh, and one thing before we go, everybody. Uh, Radcon for Paradise is going on right now with a Kickstarter for the project. Oh, my God. Do, do you guys remember Radcon? You guys, you guys fans Do you know that you remember, remember the podcast live? We did that. Oh, that's right. Of course. And we We're can gonna do definitely another one. do one of those there if we, uh, if we make it happen. Of Absolutely true. Oh, what a beautiful time that'll be. Uh, so, hey, go to the Kickstarter link down below. Fund the Kickstarter. There's all kinds of great rewards. There's a bunch of stretch goals. Uh, and for you guys specifically, 
we can pretty much guarantee a live podcast episode, assuming a chapter comes out there. But we'll work something out no matter what uh, and guarantee something uh, podcast related. And uh, all you got to do is go support us on the Kickstarter. And I think it's well worth your while. So go take a look. Bye. Bye.